Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase. Today we're going to be checking out more of the YouTuber mod, which is essentially the YouTuber blocks combined with the YouTuber items. And yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the YouTuber items part of it. So, before we begin, I wanted to talk to you guys about the missing days of videos on my channel. So, uh, recently I moved into a new house, I don't know if you guys know, uh, but I did, and the internet cable guy just hasn't shown up. Time Warner. Come on, Time Warner show up at my house and install my internet. Unfortunately, the internet that was here has hindered my ability to upload, so um, it, it uploads really, really slow. It takes like six hours, then by the time it's done, there sometimes is an error, and then I have to re-upload it. So that's happened a few times, unfortunately, but I'm having the internet being fixed really soon, and I will be uploading videos every day around 10 a.m., and it'll be back to normal again. So I hope you guys are excited. Before we begin, smack that like button. Let's see if we can get 2,000 likes for this mod showcase as well. We nailed it on the last one, but uh, other than that, let's get started. Uh, the first item here, we got Tobuscus' sword, and you're going to need to collect some of this YouTuber dust to craft it, along with uh, the rest of the items in the mod. And to craft Tobuscus' diamond sword, you're going to need 8 YouTuber dust and 1 diamond sword. And uh, all the crafting recipes for any of these items are exactly the same, except this item in the top left always changes. So here's Tobuscus' sword. And uh, it, it has 8 attack damage, you know, it's it's a strong weapon, I guess, you know, it could replace your regular diamond sword, and uh, it blocks, I mean, that's about it, you can just go attack stuff, it also gives whatever you hit with it 30 seconds of slowness, as you can see, I hit that horse, and he's slow for 30 seconds. So that is Tobuscus's sword. Next, we got the Captain Sparkle's Sparkler, which is crafted like this with an enchanted book, and to use it, you just right-click, and little sparkles come from the ground. It, nothing else, really. They don't turn into fireworks. But uh, it's cool. It's just like little sparkles. And you can also attack mobs with it, and it sets them on fire and does some pretty good damage. As you can see, it does six damage. It's pretty cool. Um, whenever you hit item or hit mobs with it, it'll set them on fire, which will usually kill them anyways. So next up, we got Dire Wolf's Pickaxe. Uh, it's pretty great. Use a diamond pickaxe to craft that, and um, it's just a really great pickaxe. It also does 5 attack damage, but uh, it, the best part about it is that it's super fast at mining. So let's mine through this dirt real quick. I'll show you how fast. Look at that. It actually has 3,000 durability, so uh, that's pretty great. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can mine out of here. Next is Sipsco Dirt. Whenever you craft it, uh, you craft it with a piece of dirt. <laughs> and uh, to use it, you just right-click the ground, and it will plant uh, automatically some seeds, and it will uh, hoe the ground for you. You can also do this 100 times. It has uh, a durability of 100. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Just plant a bunch of crops uh, with ease, and then have, have some wheat. Next is Shinzo, and the way this works is you right-click the ground, and it will create a square of pretty much um, farmed dirt so you can go ahead and plant your crops in a big area real easily. So that's really cool. It also has 1500 durability. To craft Shen's hoe, uh, just put a diamond hoe up on the top left along with the YouTuber dust and you will get Shen's hoe. Next is Pat's sword from popular MMOs. To craft that, of course, put a diamond block in the top left and uh, you got yourself a 10 attack damage sword doesn't really do anything else, it just does 10 attack damage, I think. So, it's a pretty cool sword, and yeah, just, you can kill stuff with it. But next, we have Simon's Shovel, and Simon's Shovel is crafted with a diamond shovel, and it's basically just instant digging. It's just instant mine. Look at that, it's crazy. And it also has 250 uh, durability, which actually isn't even that much, so. But if you do want to instant dig, it's pretty useful for that, and as you can see, I just hold it down. Freaking goes crazy. Next up is Sky's Butter. To craft it, you know, you put some butter in the top left. And, uh, of course, you eat it. And when you eat it, you will get 15 seconds of regeneration 3. That's pretty good, you guys. Uh, it's, it's useful. So, if you know, if you're fighting mobs and whatnot, uh, you can go ahead and eat that and just take them all down. So, that's pretty great. But uh, we're going to move on to our second set of items here. Our first item in the second set is Munching Brotatoes. Uh, potato. And whenever you eat it, hold on, let's see what happens. Oh, you get 10 minutes of haste. That's pretty good. That's a long time. And to craft the potato, of course, you put a potato up there. Next is Think Noodles Noodles. And to craft that, you put some mushroom stew in the top left. And uh, whenever you eat it, actually, you have to go to game mode zero to do that. Uh, whenever you eat it, you will get 10 minutes of night vision too. That's pretty good. So if you want to see at night, of course, eat some noodles. 
Uh, they help you see at night. Um, and then next is Basher's Melon here. Whenever you eat that, you will get 10 minutes of jump boost. Look at this, you guys. And it doesn't even hurt you when, it hit, when you hit the ground. You don't take any fall damage. Okay, as you just saw, I took fall damage. But that's only if you actually jump more than the jump boost is supposed to have you jump. And then you won't even take that much anyway. So you're pretty safe with this. I didn't show you the crafting recipe for that melon, but... I, you'd imagine it was a melon, so I'm sure it's a melon. But next is Ender Noob's Ender Pearl, and to craft that, you put an Ender Pearl in the recipe, and uh, it's basically just a Ender Pearl that doesn't run out for ten uses. You can have ten uses uh, with this Ender Pearl and teleport around. It doesn't even really hurt you, as you can see. I don't have any armor. I get my health back, and yeah, it's pretty great. I like it. Uh, next is Dan TDM's goggles. To craft those, you need some glass, and uh, you just put them on. You can be Dan, the diamond minecart, as well with uh, your goggles. So that's pretty great. Uh, but next is Bodil's sunglasses. And to craft those, you put some oak leaves in there. And you, when you wear them, you actually get some effects here. Hold on, I'm going to drink some milk so that way uh, my old effects go away. Okay, so when you wear Bodil's sunglasses, you will get speed 4 for 5 seconds infinitely. So, like, the 5 seconds will just stay there, but as long as you have the sunglasses on, you will have the speed, and you will be super fast. So I think these are really good uh, if you need to get around pretty fast. This is the way to do it. Just wear some Bodil glasses. Next is Jerome's Betty, and to craft that, you will obviously put a diamond pickaxe in the recipe, and you will get Jerome's Axe Betty. So, uh, yeah, this is really crazy, like we uh, saw in the last mod showcase. It does 10,000 attack damage. I'd assume that kills just about anything. When you right-click, nothing happens. But when you left-click, anything will die. Just anything. 10,000 attack damage. That's just OP, you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and put that away. It's real dangerous. Uh, but next, we have Ihas Cupquake's Cupcake. Uh, to craft that, you put a cookie uh, in the top left. There are no cupcakes. Um, and to eat it, you actually have to be down on hunger, unfortunately. So I, I got to run around here for a second. So <laughs> be right back. So as you can see, my hunger is down and my health is down as well. And whenever I eat this cupcake, bam, I will get like two seconds of instant health. But as you can see, all my health came back. So it's very useful in uh, battle situations, of course. If you're about to die, just eat it, and you will get your health back. So that's pretty great, but uh, let's see. We have to go over to our third set. All right, so this is the last set, and this includes my item. I can't wait. Anyways, we got Trumu's jetpack, and to craft that, you will just need a torch, just a freaking torch, and you will get a jetpack. Uh, put the jetpack on, and be careful there, because if you hold shift and put it on, it will activate and then hurt you. So just click and drag and put it on, and to activate it, you will press shift, and uh, you just kind of have to be be in control with this jetpack. If you fall down too much, just barely click shift, and you will safely float to the ground. But you can go pretty high with this, and it's fast. It doesn't go like vertical, it looks like, but it does go really high in the sky, really fast. So uh, it's a pretty cool item. I'm glad I'm glad you put my jetpack in here. That's awesome. All right, next is the Atlantic Crafts Trident. To craft it, you will need a water bottle in the top left, and it's pretty great. It has 6.5 attack damage, and when you right-click it, you will get water breathing for 60 seconds. And actually, when you right-click it, it actually only uses up one durability, and it will reset that water breathing back to 60 seconds. So this is a pretty cool thing. If you're swimming underwater, you can breathe, and it's, it's real great. Um, and of course, you can use it as a weapon, and it does 7 damage. It's pretty cool. But next up is Jen's Daisy. When you right-click it, you will get instant health for about a second. So uh, it's like the cupcake from earlier, but uh, you can use it three times, it looks like, and it will heal you. So that's pretty great. Uh, next is Etho's Redstone Sword. You craft it with a block of redstone, and it does eight attack damage. So when you attack stuff, bam, they die. I mean, I it, it looks like it gives them 30 seconds of wither as well, so that's pretty cool. If they are stronger than uh, a chicken, then they will have a 30 second effect of wither on them, so that's pretty cool. And I'm running out of hunger here. I'm gonna eat some raw chicken. Next is Sunday's glasses right here, crafted with a piece of glass in the top left. And to use these, you just put them on, and then you could become Sunday. Look at me. 
and you will have resistance four on forever. So uh, just carry these around with you, and you'll you just have some resistance, and you'll survive a little bit longer, it looks like. But yeah, guys, that was the last item in the mod. I hope you liked this mod showcase. This was the YouTuber items mod uh, inside the YouTuber mod. So if you want to download the YouTuber mod, it has both these blocks and the items in the mod, and then you can have a bunch of YouTuber stuff in the world. But uh, other than that, you guys, uh, smack that like button if you enjoyed. And check out my channel if you are new. And subscribe to my videos for more Minecraft. But uh, yeah, guys, that was it. I will talk to you stars later. And see you guys.